Okay, click the button, there we go. All right, what's going on everybody? Let's check it out, check it out. Welcome everyone, hello K. hello spicy ice cream and light of Amun, Amun. <laughs> it's happening folks. So uh, check it out. Gonna draw a raccoon, I guess. It seemed like a cool animal to do that I haven't done before. I, I had difficulty choosing a good photo. This one doesn't have the best lighting, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. We'll just work with it. It's kind of a very even lighting, so I can always, uh, I can just exaggerate it more if I feel like it. If I want like light from above, sh like really uh, bright light shining above it, I can kind of exaggerate the shadows or something if I want to, but it should be, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so hopefully everybody can hear me. How's everybody doing out there for this Friday evening? What's happening? So I'm gonna just start drawing, I guess. We'll, hopefully more people will show up. So check it out. I'm just going to try to really loosely compare the height, which is the shorter side, I believe. I'm going to compare that to the width. See how many times the height fits into the width. It looks like roughly almost one and a half. So here's... So I'm finding some interesting points here. So the height of it, when I take the height and I go from the tail to the end, this is where kind of the side of the head starts. So if I mark that, okay, that's kind of the front leg. So now, how do we know if this is gonna be right? Kind of don't know yet. <clears throat> that's okay. If I take the same measurement, and I put it here, this is where the tail starts, or should start. But like I said, I don't know if this is correct. So this is a square basically that I just made, so I'm gonna roll with that. So this is the tip of the tail, way out here somewhere. And this is, starts curving down right there. I'll have to get that curve more correct as this drawing progresses. So what I made is a square. So I took, I, I found the height and then I rotated it from one end of, of the subject and then I figured out what lines up right here. And this is like the front leg. So now I can kind of just try to block stuff in as best I can and then kind of guesstimate uh, the rest of it here. And then I, once I have it kind of blocked in, I can just uh, double check basically. You know, there's so many different ways to like measure and do things. It's, it's hard to really explain like a particular method because I kind of just combine ton of different methods here. So the side of the face starts about right here. But the head, if we look at the head, it's almost like halfway between the top and the bottom. Like the line of the eyes, I think it's about halfway. So normally I wouldn't be this picky about like measurements, but I, I don't know. I'm just going with I'm just rolling with it. Yeah, the eyes definitely are like dead center. So try to guesstimate this. 
Okay, a little up a little bit more. Boom, right there. So this mark right here, that's where the eyes are gonna be, but they're gonna be over here somewhere. So I'm just loosely like figuring things out, just like, but now I can kind of just start blocking things in. Like this is the side of the face. I know where the line of the eyes are. So let's just try to block in the face quickly here. See what I can come up with compared to the rest of the body, the square of the body so far. Also it looks like the back leg is like, the back end of the back leg is like the middle between the tail and this, the front leg. So I'll just kind of guesstimate that in there. Something like that. Now, I don't know if these angles are right, maybe too harsh, maybe it needs to come over more and down more shallow. Not sure yet. I may end up erasing this whole thing and just starting over because I don't even know if this is like the way I wanted to block this whole thing in, but I kind of just went for it in the beginning. Sometimes you just have to try a method that seems, you know, I just do this intuitively. I'm like, okay, how should I go about this one today? And I try to just figure it out. Sometimes it doesn't happen. What's going on everybody? Amex Jam, thanks for joining. Good to see you. Got some family in the chat here as well. It's always cool. <clears throat> so I'm just slowly trying to get some of the lines here. Locking things in. Kind of looks like it, I think. So the eyes are right here somewhere. So the ears are gonna be, ears are actually pretty small. Now where the nose is, possibly. Not sure where the eyes are, something like that. This could all be way off, so. Not too bad so far, I think. Try to erase some of this, Let's get more solidified here. Really start refining everything. So I think I think the head may be over a little too much. Which is a bummer, but I'm just gonna adjust it slightly.
How's everybody's Friday evening going? What's happening? Yeah, it's pretty rough blocking so far. It's not really, uh, it's pretty challenging. Pretty challenging. It's kind of a weird, it's a very different, odd kind of shape, you know? Just the way, uh, the way this thing is kind of built and kind of his posture. I'm just trying to get in like shoulder area. I can see here shoulders kind of swoops around. Then he has this kind of belly area. So I'm trying to use some of these, these lines as guides. Just very loosely in the beginning here. And then the legs, it's very like fluffy looking legs. We got grass at the bottom, of course, blah, blah, blah. I think the tail looks, I think overall it's looking pretty good. It's just, uh... okay, so one thing to take note of is the nose and the tail. So let's measure if I can. So the bottom of this tail should come up to, okay, so that's up way too high, I think. Tail should be lower. And then the point of the tail actually lines up with like right around the bottom of the nose, bottom of the face. So right there. So I'm just trying to use these guidelines that I'm kind of making up I'm just finding on the drawing, or on the subject, rather. Maybe I'm just kind of refining things. Let's see, where's the hump of the back compared to the feet? So we can kind of start lining that up. Very odd shape, very, very odd shape. But it's all right, we're getting it, we're getting it. Every, every, every second here, I'm getting closer. So the middle of the face is where the back meets the shoulders. So here's the middle of the face. And then where does the back kind of start curving down? Looks like right about here. Something like that. Looks like there's a little hump here for the this pelvis or something, some kind of Something back there. It's probably a little more subtle, of course, but it's all right. There we go. Uh, so just struggling with this block in a bit today, but that's all right. Starting to look raccoonish, I think.
Hey, Mix Jam, you're still working from home right now? It's like 5.44 where I'm at. Working late, man, on a Friday. Guess everybody's schedule is different though. Depends on what you do and etc. Of course. Okay, where were the eyes at? This is the line of the eyes. So it looks like the ears kind of line up somewhat with the eyes. Wow, this looks really bizarre. <laughs> this looks really bizarre. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying here. I'm trying to get this. Trying to get this to look decent. I think, uh, wow, this looks so dumb. Really need to lighten up some of the shapes here. You know, I changed the photo at the last second. I almost did a close up of a raccoon's face, and then I was like, yeah, let's just do the whole thing. Yeah, great idea. Great idea, Brandon. That was a great idea. <clears throat> wow, the chat is very interesting today. <laughs> oh, I'll just say that. Very interesting. All right, let's start out with big shapes. Let's start out with big shapes first. Hmm. I'm having trouble here. I'm having trouble. I can't, I just, I'm not sure what is off here. Let's take a different approach with this. So his head's kind of tilted, so the ear. Hmm. <laughs> head too small hmm. 
I feel like I got the body pretty good. Like I'm happy with the lines of the body, but I'm not happy with the head. So let's just start over. All right, this is gonna be a struggle today. I can tell, I can already obviously tell. So it looks like if I go through the ear, it keeps continuing down. It's a little fluffy out here on his face. Swoops back in. Yeah. Okay, the line of the, the leg is a little tilted. And the face lines up with that. Okay, I think we're good there. So I'm trying to focus on the important lines here. So it kind of has like two edges to the face. There's like the dark edge and then there's this fluffy white edge. So that's what I'm working on. Um, the size of a head is the size from the head to the tail. I'm not sure what you mean there. Let me s like the tail, the whole tail is the same size as the head. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's a good idea. Boom. Now that I have it blocked in, I should double check. So right there. So mine's way too big. Or my tail is too small. But, okay. That's interesting. I hate when I always start measuring. Then I have to make sure everything is right. Okay, so I got I got this a few lines here. So from here to here, how is that way off? How is it that off? I measured this, I measured a square when I started. So from here to here should be the height. So how is it that off? That makes no s okay, I think I know what measurement is off now. Yep, okay. Okay, so the body's too long. This line is wrong somehow. No, no, this line is wrong, excuse me. So, see, when I measure from here to here, it should meet this line and it's not. So, need to figure out, boom, right there. So the tail needs to end here. So that's the real edge of the tail, which means this is my new head measurement as well. Boom, right on. All right. So the head's the right size now. I'm confident about that. So now I just need to fix this tail line, which is interesting because now it kind of makes the tail much fatter. I'm not really sure about that, but okay, let's go with it, let's roll with it. And it also brings in the leg a bit. Thank you for reminding me to double check my measurements here. I got too caught up in uh, trying to fix this head. But now, okay, this feels a, lot, a little bit better now. Because I know I got the height, I got this in the right spot, this, the head's the right measurement. Um, the only other thing is like, where's the bottom of the head and the top of the head. 
Okay, so it looks like from there to there. Hmm, interesting. Is there any other? Okay. That's going to be tricky. I'll just have to block, try to block it in. So it looks like from here to here at the bottom. Boom. Pretty close, pretty close. So that's where the ears are, according to measurements. <clears throat> yeah, slow block in today, folks, but uh, you know, it kind of shows different side of this, you know, drawing. It's this is a reality sometimes is it takes a little bit longer to get the measurements correct. And uh, sometimes you wanna do that. Like last night when I did the horse, uh, the horse's head, I didn't really care about the measurements. It didn't really come out perfectly like the photo, but when you just look at the drawing by itself, which most people are gonna do anyway, they're not gonna see it with the photo when it's in your sketchbook. It looks like a horse's head. There's no, it's not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably the same with this as well. Like, I don't really need to be so crazy about getting it correct. But, I mean, you might as well just go through this process. It's something I haven't really showed that much anyway. Because I think people, like, think, like, oh, once you learn to draw pretty well, you're just, everything's just so easy. And, like, yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's very simple and then other times uh, you know some days you just struggle a bit until you get it figured out And let's see, where are the eyes compared to the rest of the head? Yeah, middle of the head. Yep, right there. Right where I had them almost. Something like that. And then right above that is a little line for the markings. Get rid of this stupid line. Yeah, I mean the proportions, that's something I get I get like questions like so many times about proportions like all the time. And uh yeah, I mean it's just it's going through this process of like measuring it, comparing it to parts of your drawing that you know is correct, and you have to start out with like, I mean, you start out with anything. You could I could have start out with the head and then measure everything based on the head. I could start out with the tail and then measure everything based on that. You have to start out with something and then just base the rest of the drawing on that. And for me, I started out with the height and then I based it compared to the width. Or I started out with a square, really. I started out with the height and then from the tip of the tail, where did it line up? It lined up with this arm. So I used that as kind of a guideline and then I kind of built around all of that. So I hope that makes sense. You know, there's so many different ways to go about it. 
And sometimes just anno- it's an it's an annoying thing. It's going to take you sometimes like if you're doing a portrait, especially, I mean, it could take you like a few hours just to get everything blocked in correctly on a head, like before you even start shading, before you even start getting, you know, it's, it's not easy. But I just try to persevere, try to work out the problems because there's got to be a way to solve the problem. You know, there's got to be something. And this may not be perfect either, but I'm just going to do my best here and try to roll through this. As long as I get it close enough right now, I'll be happy with the outcome, I think. I think a lot of why it looks weird too is like I don't have the value in there yet. So like it just looks, when you just draw with a lot of lines, it can look funny because it's just like, it's not, it's just not there yet. And a raccoon, I mean, it definitely has some interesting markings, so. You know, when you don't have it really, uh, you don't have all the values drawn in probably look a little silly. Like that. I think the eyes are too close together maybe. Even though the head is is the right size, everything looks small. It feels like it's not Maybe I'm not drawing it big enough here. <clears throat> I think the ears are too big. Yeah, you're probably right. Just looking right now. At this point, man, I'm just, I just want to start the inking process. I'm tired of this. <laughs> tired of drawing. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna start blocking in some of the value. Let's just start doing it that way. Maybe you'll start looking a little more correct to me or something. Start figuring out a little bit more of what's happening here. Just a big fluff ball. Something with the face definitely looks weird. I think the angle here. There we go. I think it needs more of a pointier snout. I think I was given a too rounded of a face at the bottom. I think it needs to be It's hard too because the outline around the snout is white, so when I draw it with a line, it just, you know, doesn't really look the greatest. Hmm. 
going on? Thanks for tuning in. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. It's a day of struggle. Is the snout too small? Yeah, probably. I was just looking at that. I think it needs to be bigger. I don't know, man. I'm, 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 I'm getting annoyed right now with this draw, with this drawing. Be honest. I think the eyes need to come up or the nose needs to come down. Although I just measured where the nose is and it seems it seems right. So let's measure where these eyes are. Yep, eyes need to come up just slightly. Maybe that would make the snout look a little bit bigger as well. There we go, folks. Zoom in a little bit. Show you my disaster close up. So I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where the markings are first because they're like a bigger shape. To work with and then the top of the the markings is where the top of the eyes are. It looks like the top of the eyes is like halfway. So if I do the top of the eyes, come up. Interesting, interesting. Trying to keep things soft. I don't want these like really sharp lines right now because it just makes it look weird to me and I don't want it to look weird. Part of me doesn't want to waste all this time drawing this thing correctly. And then when I go do the inking, it's just going to look dumb anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't want to waste so much time on this. I just want to have some fun and get this drawn in here. But there's always something that just looks off with the eyes, so I'm trying to get these eyes to look right. It's like the relationship between the eyes, nose, and mouth is like it's something. The eyes look too close together here. Obviously this one's too small. The problem is the rest of the markings are dark too. They're not, the eyes don't really stick out that much.
I don't know. That might be the best I can do. Let me. See. I think the nose is stupid too. Um, bottom part's darker. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, folks. This is. Uh, I don't know why it's this challenging today. <laughs> it's a raccoon. They all look dumb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I think I just start inking it and hope for the best, which is kind of a, a not a smart way to go about it. But you guys know I'm not too serious about these live streams and stuff. Like, it's just, uh, it's just a little bit of practice for me and some fun. I mean, I'm really happy with the body. It's just the face that, like, there's something off, something wrong. Some kind of, something's weird here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I could sit here all night and try to figure it out, but uh, I don't want to do that. It could be I just don't have these values in there, like the darks and lights yet, so it just looks stupid. But uh, anyway, let's. I'm going to start inking because it, it feels close enough to me. A lot of things are in, in the, the places that they should be, I think. It's just... Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure what's happening here. I feel like it's the face is like still not pointy enough. I think I'm making it like too fat here. The angle is off. Angle is off. Yeah. Okay, let's see what people say. I think the face is smaller than it should be. Uh, what part of the face? The features? The head is exactly the right size. The head lines up exactly with everything else, so the head's the right size. The height of the head's the right size compared to everything else in the drawing. So everything else is right, it just has to be some kind of proportions here. And it could be just the markings, everything's weird. You said the nose needs to be a little to the left. The whole thing. I think the markings need to be smaller too. The eyes need to be closer together. Yeah, probably. That's what I thought they were too close together earlier, and now. Yeah, I don't know. My nose looks like it's too f low down. But then the face uh, doesn't look pointy enough if I make it smaller. So I'm not really... I'm not really sure. I think I'm just going to have to move on, guys, because... Uh, how long have I spent on this? Almost an hour already? Or 45 minutes on the drawing part? I think we just move on. I think we just... Uh, what do they call it? Cut my losses here and just uh, move on to the ink. Move on to the ink. I don't paint with acrylics anymore. I haven't painted with acrylics since like 2015. 
So, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but I do watercolors. I definitely want to do watercolors. <clears throat> see the legs. I'm not sure what you mean. See the legs. Is, are the legs off? What's off here? <laughs> eh, I see what you're saying. Okay, let's see if you try and make a triangle with the nose and the eyes. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so the eyes need to like come in a bit more. All right. I don't care. Let's do it. It's gonna look like a dumb wreck. <laughs> uh, I would love to add watercolor to this, but the paper would fall apart. It's drawing paper. It's not, I wouldn't hold a wash, I don't think. Um, yeah, probably this weekend I might do a watercolor painting or something on here. Man, this might be the worst one I've done so far. Let's let's try to let's try to make this a good one. Sorry it took so long, folks, but you know, I was just trying to get as close as I could. But it's just a different look at my process, you know? Like sometimes it happens. Sometimes I just, I probably should have just started over and tried a different blocking in method. Um, but it's all right, it's too late now. I'm already inking it, so just roll them with it. Just roll them with it. I'm trying to keep it looking pretty fluffy. Not a lot of solid lines. And maybe that was a problem with this thing. It's like so soft everywhere that when I started making all these solid lines, it just looks funny. See, where does that bottom leg line up on the face? Middle of the ear, which is where the end of the white lines up. Pretty much got that right. And then Okay. 
cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got that, we got that. Uh, let's see. Where does the middle leg come in? It's like this. Good things take time. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, do you ever do any charcoal drawings, like still life or portraits? Uh, in the past, you know, I'm not really a fan of charcoal anymore. <laughs> uh, reason being, it's just so messy. Like, I'm just, that's kind of why I took up pen and ink recently. Because I can keep it in my sketchbook. It doesn't ruin the other pages. It doesn't get smudged or smeared around. I don't have to worry about fixative spray. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Like, pen and ink is just simple. And um, I've kind of really reduced my art life uh, to simplicity. Like I don't really do oil paintings anymore. I've kind of gotten rid of a lot of those uh, materials. I've just, uh, watercolor is very simple for me. So I kind of just focus on really simple Really simple stuff. See this line of the face right here is so soft in the actual photo. So I think that's why I was struggling because I'm like trying to outline the face, but there really is no outline there. So now when I shade that, it just blends right into the leg. So that's what I have to, there's a little bit of a line here where it's white, but this part just literally blends out. And I, I still have so much oil painting stuff that I would like to get rid of. I just don't even know how to get rid of it. So all the pencil that I put down, it's kind of just a rough guideline. I kind of just I try to fix anything I'm seeing as I'm doing this. Welcome back. What's going on, everybody? Um, wow, 320 there in Belgium. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'd say your sleep schedule is a little messed up, too. <laughs> oh, 
Hope I'm not contributing too much to that. <laughs> uh. Oh boy, yeah. This this one's gonna be pretty rough. I think this one's gonna be pretty rough. I'm 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 a, I'm a little concerned here with this uh, with this drawing. I thought it started out pretty good, and uh, it just got really difficult. But sorry, I'm just gonna keep keep rolling with it here. There's nothing else I can really do. Just have to roll with it. I'm sure once I get the whole ink thing blocked in, there'll be a blatant mistake uh, in the drawing that I didn't see earlier. That's what happened the other day. Uh, I think when I was drawing that horse, I think that happened. And I think another time it happened as well. It's like, how did I not see that? It was, so, it was just so glaringly obvious what the problem was. And I didn't see it till like an hour after staring at the drawing. Three twenty in Egypt too. Wow, that's cool. I think you're getting too dark around the eyes. Ah, eh, too late now. What am I? What am I gonna do? <laughs> Can't make it less dark. Roll with it. I already said this one's a disaster. Like it's not it's already not coming out that great. So what's it matter? It doesn't really matter. I just want to finish it and get it done. Do a better one tomorrow or this weekend sometime.
I think the lighting with this one's also challenging because I don't there's not a clear there's not a very clear separation of like sunlight and, and shadow. You know, it's very overcast. So I wasn't able to use like shadow shapes and stuff to really help break up any of the shapes. It's kind of just a very it's a more challenging uh light and dark, you know, type of scenario. So I'm just making excuses, that's all. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is a more challenging uh, lighting scenario. It tends to happen in painting too. You know, all the values are just more close together. Uh, you know, you don't have a lot of contrast. I mean, there is some contrast here, but It's just not the same as if it was like a sunny day. Oh, why did I choose this photo? There's just too much dark on here. I did not want to do this. Yeah, my, my, uh, I'm running out of patience right now for this. Trying to hold it together, but I'm running out of patience. Let's let's move. Let's let's put some white in here. I need to just see where I'm at together. I don't want to put too much white on the this fur. Just a little bit here and there. Down here maybe. If you guys want to see something interesting, look look up uh, albino raccoon. 
saw one earlier online. It's like, okay, that looks interesting. So this is where we're at so far. Looks all right, I guess. Not too bad, not too bad. We're doing all right. An albino raccoon is just a rat with a cuter outfit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Type of pens. I'm using a Prismacolor size 05. I also use, uh, sometimes I use this Micron, Pigma Micron 05. And then the white is a jelly, it's called a jelly roll. It's probably hard to read that, but... Uh, Jelly Roll 08. Yeah, I think it's kind of coming together, but I don't know that I have the patience for all this fur, to be honest. I need to have patience for the rings on the tail. That's the important part. So I got to make sure I have, I got to slow down when I get to that part. But the rest of this, I don't really care. Just want to try to get close enough to the value of what it is. Gee, you no know, wonder why, why my pins don't last. Oh my gosh. This was a, this was, uh, all right. So the rings on the tail looks like just got to follow the form here a bit. Kind of, let's try to draw these in first, something. Yeah,
I'm supposed to start with the white the lighter ring. Okay, that didn't really happen. Oh well. Definitely got the spacing wrong and stuff, but that's all right. We'll just, like I said, this drawing, man, I'm keeping it rolling. We're just keeping it rolling. tail too low. Kind of messed up the tail. That's all right. Uh. Let's just fill this in quickly, man. I think I'm just getting hungry. Getting hangry right now. <laughs> I feel like a raccoon. A hangry raccoon right now. So... I want to finish this. All right, let's get the value right here. Not bad. Not bad, I think. Uh, it'll take me a little bit longer to get some of this value where it should be. Gonna give him a bit of a shadow underneath here. Kind of grounds them a little bit more into the earth. They're onto something. Anyway. Okay. 
See what you can do with just a bunch of scribbling? It's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, we do a quick white background or something on this side. You know, I feel like I want to do black background, dark background, but maybe white would make it pop more, huh? What do you guys think? Black vertical lines, white vertical lines. Black vertical lines, white vertical lines, background. Vote in the chat. One day I'm gonna do, I was thinking of a, uh, one day I'm gonna do a drawing with black vertical lines in the background. Or do I just leave it? Do I put some, I feel like I want something in the background just a little bit. I'm not too happy with the tail, but uh, it's all right. Can't really do much about it right now. Just make it look a little fluffier here and there. I don't know. There's already these like harsh lines on it. All right, we got white, black, black. Black, left, white, right. Oh man. Go from black to white. That would be crazy. I don't know if I could pull that off. <laughs> uh. All right, let's try black. Let's do it. I've done enough white backgrounds. Let's try a black background. See what it does. Maybe it'll make this white pop and then we'll, we'll see. Since this was a tough one for me, I feel like black is the right answer. <laughs> uh, darkness. Okay. Let's do it. It's gonna it's gonna look dumb at first, always does. Every time I try to do something like this. It might look dumb in the end too, but Okay, okay. I'm gonna turn it just so it's a little bit easier.
pretty interesting. Gives it a little atmosphere or something to it. kind of cool I think it's kind of cool um, what about a little white on his bottom right leg to balance it I don't know. you mean like over here yeah I mean maybe on the tail actually to just a little bit because it is a little bit lighter in some of those areas like here if I can get this white pin to write, come on. Just put a little bit of sporadic white around. Well, what do you guys think? Did you guys make the right decision there with the black? I guess. It's kind of cool. Um, let's try to round it out a little bit more right here. It's hard to tell. I can only see it when I look at the screen. Like, I'm so close to it, it's hard to tell what's happening. Yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. It's good enough. I mean, it, it came out better. It definitely came out better than I thought it was going to. So, yeah. Well. My first time to watch, great drawing, crazy discussion. Yeah, you, honestly, usually the, the, the chat isn't this crazy. Uh, usually it's a little bit more. <laughs> usually it's a little more chill. Usually there's more questions and stuff. But uh, I don't know. Tonight, it's Friday, so I guess everybody was just a little, a little nuts today. Um, thanks for this live stream. Yep, no problem. I, th I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Um, you know, it's not like my greatest work ever. I can definitely, I already see exactly what's wrong with it right now. The ears are too small. Right? Can you guys see that? Look at that ear. Look at this ear. It's so small. It needs to come out like way further out here. So, yeah, I already see it. Like, I knew it right away. I could already see what the problem is. Ears too small. 
Um, this one's okay. It could come out a little bit more, but this one's way too small. I don't even know if I could, I could try to fix it a little bit more. Why not? Let's, I mean, let's just try it. See what happens. Yeah, something like that. A little bit better, but still not, still not the best. But I can just, I can see stock photo on my computer a lot better. It's bigger and I can just see like the ears are completely off. But uh, anyway, you know, there's gonna be problems. <laughs> Of course, and that's uh, that's what happens. You get to the end, and it's like, oh, well, I see exactly what the problem was. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Philip says, what did I miss in the chat? I mean, watch the replay. You'll be, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really happened. That was the thing. <clears throat> but uh yeah anyway if you guys have any questions or anything last minute here before i get off but if not i'll see you guys uh, on the next one um yeah leave it alone you're right all right pretty cool never did like a ba black background like that so i think it, it's all right it came out cool um yeah, I mean, there's obviously something I don't like about it. There's stuff I don't like about it, but it is what it is. Tail's too big, too went down too far, too rigid. I need like more of a natural curve to it. It's too dark and heavy compared to the rest of this. Should have the contrast over here rather than this. So yeah, a lot of, you know, maybe I can try to lighten this up or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not the best, but anyway. All right, guys. Hey, Amex Jam, thanks you. Thanks for the three bucks right at the end here. Greatly appreciated. Hope this was helpful in some way, especially that blocking in the drawing phase. Definitely challenging, but uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and for donating. But uh, anyway, will I stream again tomorrow? Probably. Maybe I'll do a drawing. I might do a watercolor painting. I might switch it up a little bit. We'll see what happens. Take care of yourself. Peace, everyone. I'm going to go eat dinner. Later. <clears throat> Have a good night, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, paper I'm using, Tone Tan Strathmore. That's paper. So, all right. Take care, everyone. Peace.